The long-suffering wife of Manchester City's famous philanderer, Kyle, Annie Walker, did attend the game on Wednesday night at the Etihad Stadium to watch him play in the Champions League quarter-finals, despite not being photographed. Not only had she given birth mere days before, but her presence was emotional. She brought all four of their boys, including the baby, as a sign of their family's unity and of Kyle's excellent characteristics as a father to the kids he adores. However, it would be incorrect for anyone to believe that this represents a time of quiet and stability in the Walker home. It has been disclosed that a new confrontation between the bitter rival football spouses, Rebecca Vardy and Colleen Rooney, is set to occur nearly two years after the commencement of the Wagatha Christie trial, which captivated the globe and richly enriched certain attorneys. This version features Lauren Goodman, the former mistress of Walker and Annie, and it may stand up to the first courtroom drama. To put it mildly for those who haven't followed this lengthy tale, things are complicated. Walker moved out of the Prestbury, Cheshire, £3.5 million family home in January after Annie was informed by Instagram influencer Lauren Goodman that Kyle was her daughter's father. Annie was already on board that Lauren's affair with him three years earlier had resulted in the birth of her son Cairo. The father of her three children at the time, Roman, 11, Rian, 7, and Rain, 5, Kyle was sent to a neighboring leased apartment since this most recent violation was too much for her to handle. He's still there. Following the public revelation of the entire situation, Kyle apologized in death to Annie, acknowledging that he had made idiot choices and idiot decisions. According to Annie's acquaintances, she hasn't decided if their marriage can work out yet. She is not pressing to make a choice. One thing that keeps coming up is the fact that, despite what her friends say and contrary to earlier accounts, she and Kyle were still together when he fathered Cairo. She therefore has even more to consider in light of the second infraction. Those who are familiar with them both believe that they will probably work things out in the end, but they also point out that football is a very seedy world and that the mix of fame and money has a tragically twisted impact on regular young guys playing the game. To see evidence of such, one need just examine the Rooney's marital difficulties. Annie's friends tell me that she resembles Colleen a lot. She's just your typical grounded gal. She married her school sweetheart, much like Colleen. She has had a lot to cope with, which has been really upsetting, but she doesn't want to be taken advantage of. I in the end, this has nothing to do with fighting for a man. Everything about that has been resolved. Annie must decide if they can move over Kyle's actions if she wants to remain with him. Kyle swears he won't communicate with Lauren ever again, Annie is doing this because she wants to give her kids some solitude and to protect them. She finds it unacceptable that they are being used as props in disputes and that there is so much drama. She is ready for the drama to end and wants to move on. As of right now, the Walker family is still together, with Kyle allegedly seeing the kids as much as he wants and being there at the hospital to support Annie throughout her delivery. The baby has arrived safely, and both of them are overjoyed. And this summer, Annie and the four boys will support Kyle in Germany at the Euro Championships. Lauren's reaction to his kids' final outing with Annie, where they dressed up as mascots before an England game last month, was possibly expected and left her feeling grumpy. A source, who might have been Lauren's spokesperson Simon Boyle, said, It's unfortunate to see kids being wheeled out as part of a fight between grown-ups and his numerous indiscretions. Lauren, unfazed, predicts that he will soon be an overweight, bald nobody. On the other hand, sources close to the boys claim that their appearance was a sign of family pride and had nothing to do with an argument over adultery. A hearing to decide Lauren Goodman and her two children's financial support has been scheduled at a later date. Lauren has refrained from revealing the name of the girl she gave birth to back in August. In July, there will be a private hearing in family court. Although it's thought that an out-of-court settlement has been explored and Kyle Walker already supports the kids, the Walker camp feels that they prefer the security of a court decision. Annie is very demanding that it be done. The sides don't seem to be trusting one another. 
He will fulfill his financial responsibilities to his children, a source said, but some of the requests made have seemed unreasonable. It is definitely not acceptable to see the two kids who Kyle is the father of and who reside in Sussex with Lauren. Due to Lauren's actions, he is unable to participate in their lives, according to a source. He saw them a few times in the past, but that will not happen again. Interestingly, there are other legal actions underway outside the impending maintenance hearing. Due to Lauren's recent spate of social media posts, the majority of which were on Instagram stories, Annie has been seeking legal counsel. She is thinking of filing a lawsuit against Lauren because she feels like this could be harassment. This has been a filthy game thus far, regardless of what the attorneys think of it all. Media sites received leaked photos and video showing Kyle in the park with his two kids taken by Lauren in January. It came at a tough moment for Annie, who was still getting used to the idea that Kyle was Lauren's daughter's father and had just recently moved out of the family home. Lauren reportedly called her on December 27 and informed her of the news. Since then, Lauren's friends have expressed her wish for her kids to meet and eventually grow up with their half-siblings and to create a blended family. That doesn't seem plausible at all. Lauren posted an astonishing video of her kid Cairo speaking Spanish with Kyle in February. It appeared that Cairo was naming his half-brothers. On Instagram, Sion, Annie's sister, wrote, It just goes to show how low you will go to gain attention. She went on to say that her sister, who was at that point very pregnant, was being treated cruelly by Lauren. It is reported that Annie feels under enormous stress as a result of what appear to be quite general attacks. If Lauren's civil case was successful, she might receive a fine and a restraining order. Similar to Colleen Rooney, who made her highly publicized Wagatha post following months of discreet investigation, Annie is proceeding cautiously and slowly, and no formal legal action has been initiated as of yet. It's believed that she even hired Colleen's legal representation to provide her with advice. The question that the lawyers are reportedly worried about is this one, when does free speech become something else? Lauren, who is undoubtedly a busy Instagram user, has uploaded scores of photos and videos to their dossier. These include a message made by Annie that was prompted by Kyle Walker sprinting across the field while donning Puma football boots emblazoned with the names of his three children, excluding son Cairo who is with Lauren. At this time, Lauren accused Puma of harming Cairo's mental health and started a petition against the company. Is Annie being harassed by that? Annie is referred to as a bitter, vile wife, in another message, a woman scorned, in a third, and mental, in a fourth. A few entries seem to be threatening to reveal the then-secret information that Kyle was her daughter's father. Lauren wrote in November, when games have an expiration date. That is the present day. Then there was this, I just realized that my little princess's bio needs to be updated eventually, and she'll also need her own Instagram. Cairo claims Kyle Walker to be his father on his own Instagram. This Christmas will be a memorable one, for everyone, she wrote in another post. She displayed a countdown clock at least nine times without saying anything. Changed her biography on December 22nd to read, I am the mother of Cairo Walker and KW, she implied that her daughter had Walker's last name. The lawyers have taken note of the intriguing incident that occurred in April 2021 when she was captured on camera, house hunting, in Cheshire. It is believed that during this period, she uploaded a photo of herself to Instagram with Kyle Walker's neighbor. Friends claim that Annie felt threatened by this, however, Annie's representative declined to comment. Not one to back down from a confrontation, WAG Becky Vardy reportedly asked Lauren at the time of the outburst over Kyle's customized football boots, I know it must be hard for you and Cairo but I am so, so curious. The attorneys have also taken note of Lauren's posting of this statement. I apologize if this offends you in any way, that is not my intention. For your fans, it simply doesn't make sense how someone could harm you and your children in this way. Personally, I don't get it. Then Lauren revealed what appeared to be a communication from Becky Vardy to Annie, 
in which Vardy criticizes her in a newspaper article and says, You are so weak Annie. You're so full of misguided rage. It's true that at this time there was a reported breakout of violence between the women in the newspapers. Annie was accused by Becky in March of being a doormat and playing the victim. Requests for comment from Mrs. Vardy's spokesperson were not answered. Annie should focus on being a new mother and waste less time and energy on more spurious legal disputes which cost time, money, and damage to everybody's mental well-being, a Lauren representative stated. As Lauren has lately demonstrated, there is no reason why she can't talk proudly about her own family and children. There's no reason why Annie. Kyle, Lauren, and their kids can't all move on with their lives contentedly at this point. After the Wagatha incident, we are all aware of the potential outcome of these social media disputes. Does this have the same outcome? You may believe that filing a potential civil lawsuit for harassment is an absurd method of trying to bring Annie the serenity she so desperately needs. However, Lauren simply posted this remark this past week a mother and her children can sometimes make the perfect family. In a subsequent post, she said, one of each. Their affection for one another is flawless. Could not be luckier. They appeared to be jabs at Annie and her relatives. Annie would like these seemingly inane comments to stop. Which begs the question, are we now seeing Wagatha, the sequel?